A very good afternoon team Zimbabwe. Masura say, Masura say, Masura say. Welcome to Africa and Beyond Television Network. And this evening, let us talk about important matters. Job Sikala announced that he is going to soon launch a new movement. Irukunzi inenge inenge democratic chakadaru chakadaru chakadaru. It is a spiced up. So Job Sikala announced today through a presser that he is no longer part of Triple C. He actually parted ways with the team Triple C and has announced that he is going to make a move from his political movement and confront Zanupiev. That is what he actually said during the presser. And in that presser, he mentioned that we need to get back or to reset to the founding values of the MDC 1999. And uh, this is Job Sikala. And uh, remember that in 2014, he rejoined the MDC led by Morgan Changirai after a, a, a political uh, isolation period, a very long period of political isolation, Article MDC 99. So, this is what is actually happening. And let us take a look on what other people are thinking. After reflecting, I support Job Sikala's decision to start his new political party than those who destroyed Triple C because they want to reap where they did not sow. It is his democratic right to start his party and we should respect his decision. Not waiting for a political party to have MPs and councillors and boom, you want to destroy everything. He is going away without a political party, funds, no offices, nothing. Let everyone be happy for him. End of course. I'm going to explain my own view. This is an, a, a strategy which was launched by these people. Yekuti destroy Triple C, then release Job Sikala, boom, he launches another political party. While at least they believe no Sonchamisa is down, they launch a new political party, and the people of Zimbabwe will be desperate to know what is next. Then they perceive or believe that Job Sikala will have more supporters because of the sympathy that he spent months in prison. The idea is to try and replace Nelson Chamisa as the opposition leader. That is the whole idea. I want to tell you this. It's difficult for people like Job Sikala to win the elections in Zimbabwe. It's difficult. Why? There is an issue called the trust. The people who run the, uh, the, the, the events in, in, in every country, they need somebody who they can trust. And Advocate Nelson Chamisa is the only person who can stop the incoming dynasty. That is the only person who is trusted right now. So, Job Sikala is a creation which has been brought into the system so as to try and replace the legit opposition. That is the reason why the, the main purpose was to destroy Triple C. I talked about this and say they know for sure that the only person who can stop things from happening is Nelson Chamisa but they want to distract the people of Zimbabwe. Right now, they want to divide the opposition. The major question is, will they sustain it? So, Team Zimbabwe, there is a lot which is happening right now, and I don't, I don't, I don't have any uh, need to continue explaining these things up until you start to see for yourself these things happening one by one. I said in a certain episode, I talked about the way Job Sikala was arrested together with, was, with Opo Chingon, how it was choreographed, how they worked on it, and how he was arrested for the second time. We will talk more about the issues of more blessing Ali and everything else. We will talk more as time goes on. We have to reflect and take a look, a fresh look on the circumstances surrounding the story of more blessing Ali. There is a lot which we need to take, take a deep look and see and understand. We are supposed to be held in prison for, for that long. Was the sentence supposed to be suspended just like that? Seems up. There's a lot to this issue. But um, if we are to go back to the prophecy. Yeah, Kapi wa Job Sikala, Nemporo Fita Wake. Job Sikala was told not to act, not to do anything as of now, but he has held a press conference and is ready to launch his own political party. Who 
should launch a political party first advocate no sunchamisa and um job seeker i believe that no sunchamisa does not need to rush things right now he need to make uh, to to let wanasikala do their bidding do their own things and then he follows the advantage of it is that these people the reason why he is not joining triple c or using triple c is simple reason number 1 is when he is out of triple c it's easy for him to launch a new party continue suffocating no sunchamisa then wait as njabo but if he joins triple c zviri kubva zvavara atidza kuti ndo vari dze chidoma and people will abandon him totally and completely what it means is anenge atanga ari pa zero and we will never go above two so this is the strategy team zimbabwe abandon triple c form a new movement take the 1999 old veterans banani 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 vese work together create my vice presidents and everything else give positions dish out positions but triple c will still be used as a tool to take money 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 and i'm going to explain the reason why promise mkwananzi is being fought left right and center at this moment in time so team zimbabwe there is a lot at stake another issue is muchao na ma mps achitanga ku resign one by one so that they create ma by elections then ma by elections pa no uya they will try to manipulate and say okay job watora apinda mu parliament uyadai then they will suffocate no sunchamisa from any funding through vanasha vangu vacharamba vari ma totes on the lems post so this strategy team zimbabwe ndo zviri kuitika but iso sutingati ochiedu vana muno we i don't have much to say team zimbabwe i will have to come and um do some explanations right at the live but i'll try to find time to come and explain these things right now i'm encouraging each and every young person in zimbabwe to guys and they kuma misha kwedu and it no it something and it no dealer eh nema issues aniche kuita ne development vaka msha wako vaka msha wako start my projects uchiri kubasa and uh, make sure kuti mukadzi wako kana asina chaari kuita ngapo tachenda chino na management dze pamsha pako kuti zvinhu zvacho zviri kumbofamba sei vane mombe dzako huku dzako ugara one chikafu chako cha unori mao so that you don't buy everything so team zimbabwe is easy to make money in zimbabwe as long as you have a honest strategy i can tell you this if you are in diaspora you have to make sure that you invest problem yata kuita manje ndekuti patula ku invest pacho kumisha ndo paipa pa trikunzi chibve which makes it impossible for us to know kuti what is next ndo zvakati misa kuita development because you do not know what will come after you tomorrow which means it will be money lost but i believe kuti if you put a plan yekuti within 5 years if you can recover your money you have some profits then you can risk and make it happen so it is what it is in zimbabwe let us meet in other episodes as well as other broadcasts i will come so that we talk in detail about each and everything i would try to split this episode so that no bata chimono tobata job tobata uyo tobata uyo so that people understand kuti ndezvipi zviri kuita